she was buried. And the Lord was and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I tossed? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two mother of people shall be separated from thy boys. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered we are fulfilled, behold, there we are twins in her womb. 25. And the first came out red all over like an hair garment. And they called his name Esau. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Please let somebody that know how to take care of children, kindly go to the children's department. They have television and uh, all the programs was installed in their USB. They can put any program at all to keep them busy. If not, bring them to the sanctuary to join us so that the noise will not affect us here. Hallelujah. Living for the future. Hear me, hear me, my beloved brethren. There is something I need to let you know about your life. There is something concerning you you need to know. Don't make your existence only for today. Don't make your existence only for this period of time. Never you live a life that now that you are alive, that people will know you and recognize you. Live a life that after you have departed from this life, your memory cannot be forgotten. Amen. Amen. Living for the future means that you will live and live a legacy on earth and live a remembrance on earth and live a memorial on earth that after your existence people that will meet your absent will have something to thank God because of you although they knew you not although they never saw you but what you did but your remembrance has still existed where you have joined the blessed father living for the future Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Living for the future. People are on earth. And they never thought about tomorrow. They never thought about their back. A young man has come to the age of 40 and never planned to marry. Not knowing when he would depart from this earth. And when he leaves the earth, he needs to leave children that will answer his name. Hallelujah. Yes. A young woman was on earth living her life painting and decorating herself without thinking about settling down. Rejecting her husband like a man that went to a boutique to choose blessed shoes. Not knowing that time shall come. Age. Age will be turning on you. And your turn became by selection, not by choice. Living for the future. There is an age you will come in life 
You plan how to settle down. You plan how to build a family. There is a stage you will come in life. You say, what will I leave for this present generation if I left? What will they remember me of? What will they remember me for? What is the impact I have imparted in my generation? Beloved brethren, if you came on this earth, after spending your years on earth, you did not impart any virtue on the people that met you. It's better you did not come. Yes. It's better you did not come. We are talking about living for the future. Not all about what you can get now. Enjoy now. Exist now. You are calling your names for the thing that only happened that you buy drinks and buy cigarettes for them. I'm talking about living something that people will see tomorrow. Living something that will represent your name. People never think about having family. People never think about settling down. Then what will your future give? Let me tell you, if you fail to plan, you plan and fail. There is an age, a stage, a period, a season you come to life. You sit down and plan. And you set up a standard. Where you want to reach. The level you need to go. And what you need to get. Let me tell you. If you did not draw your schedule. You cannot have a future. Oh yes. Living. For the future. Planning to settle down. Planning to have kids. But in other way around, not only having kids, but bringing those kids to be suffering tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Many people are having kids, like when the family are hatching eggs. But not knowing that uh, when you did not give that child a threat, it became a shame to you. rich families in Africa, chiefs and the Israel, whatever, and the millionaires and billionaires, they have come and they have come, but their children are nowhere to be found. Instead of representing their father, they are selling their father's wealth and their properties. The way you brought up a child will tell you who the child will be tomorrow. If you leave the child that anything can go, and that child will grow that anything can go. If you accept everything that the child demanded, and the child will accept to the poor and then destroy whatever you have never tomorrow. Bringing up a child in the word of the Lord, in the way of the Lord, in the fear of the Lord. Make that child to respect you. To honor you. Even at your absence, the fear will not depart from that child body. Hallelujah. Living for the future. Have you sit down to calculate? I need to settle down. My age is 40. How many years have I in future to grow old? And if I did not work out my future now, when I'll be going with walking stick, no child will call you Papa. Let me tell you, what has men could not do, it's only your child will do it. You can 
and hire husband. Pay them a good ransom to serve you at the age, old age. Then there is something your child will do for you. We help you to do, which husband will not do. Leave him for, leave him for the future. There is time for everything. Hear me, hear me well. Let me tell you something you need to know. Go and write this word, I will tell you now. Any man or woman, let so any man, leave woman aside, woman are helper to a man. Any man on earth that existed on this earth and come to the age of 50 and have no land written with his name did not come to earth. Yes. Right He's not a resident on earth. What makes a resident? There must be a parcel of land that carry your name. This is prophecy. This is the revelation. I Any man born on earth, you come to the age of 50, there is no piece of land that carried your name and see of all. You did not come on earth. Oh yes, right on. Italy did not value you with uh, Sojourner. It's with Kata and then Tita. It's not so general. Kata and Edita. And if you have no house, no Kata and Plan for your future. You need to leave something to be remembered. Not coming to Europe, not where it ends. Not doing business all over the world, not where you end. Show me what you have achieved. Don't tell me. I want to see it. I don't want to hear. Leave it for the future. We came not to be permanent. We came and we will go. Oh yes. But you need to leave remembrance. Legacy. There must be something to remember for. If you have nothing to remember, you did not come. Oh, yes. Yes. Your, your mother did not bother you. You just pass by. Hello? Hi. You just pass by. Living for the future. Write this word down. Pray with it. Walk with it. If you did not impart your generation, your generation will not know that you came. Hallelujah. Yeah. What I'm telling you, many ministers or preachers will not tell you. But I need to tell you the truth. The best gift you can buy for yourself is not the marker wheels, not the marker bags. It's not the expensive car. The highest gift you buy for yourself is a property yes. that in the next 20 years, your name is there. The next 30 years, your name is there. The next 40 years, your name is there. The next 50 years, your name is there. Yes. C of O. <laughs> and if you want not, you did not come. Oh. Bible says the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Let, let's worry. Chapter 3 from 1 to 8. Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from 1 to 8. There is time for everything. There is time for everything on earth. Yes, we don't. Huh? Hallelujah. Exactly three from one to eight. Yes. So everything there is a season. To everything there is a season. A time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to every purpose 
under the heaven. All the purpose is not for Arabanko. <laughs> it's not for discotheca. All the purpose is not for up, jumping up and jumping down. There is a time of calculation. There is a time of thinking. There is a time of planning. There is a time of computing. There is a time of arranging, rearranging. There is a time of vision. There is a time to pursue the vision. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to be born on earth and a time to die. Before you die, you need to leave a legacy because death must come. A time to plant and a time to pluck up. A time to plant and a time to pluck up. That which is planted. But what if you planted not? What will you pluck up? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Yes. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Yes, move forward. A time to cast away stones and a, and time, a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. Hold it. A time, a time to embrace, to embrace. and a time to refrain from embracing. Refrain from embracing. Hear the hear the word. Every day is not enjoyment. Every day is not a niche. Every day is not a niche. Every day is not friendship. Let me tell you, time will come. You wake up at 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m., 6 a.m. You sat on your bed. You begin to think. You begin to plan. Cogitate. Let me tell you, there are 366 days in a year. One day, come and go. You did not think, nor plan. You did not have any thinking faculty. And that day expired. The year has reduced. And as it reduced from 366 days, it has reduced from your year. It's a reduced from your existence on earth. If you are born to live 80 years on earth, minus one day, it's no longer 80 years. The more they come and go, the more your existence on earth time reduces. If you fail to plan, then you fail to... You plan to fail. And if you have fair, you are fair. Then you become what? A failure. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to keep. There is a time to do what? To keep. And there is a time to cast away. If you are not a gatherer, it will be difficult for you to be a builder. Because a man without service cannot buy property. A man that has no service cannot build. A time to rain and a time to shoot. A time to rain. 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 Okay, rain. Yeah, rain. A time to tear. Rain means tear. Yes. And a time to sow. And a time to sow it. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to keep silent. When you keep silent, you are blind. When you kept silent, you are thinking. When you kept silent, you were cogitating. When you kept silent, you are trying to figure out how tomorrow will be, what it will give out, and the thing that will enter your hand, what you will use it to do. You need a plan. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to love and a time to hate. Not every time, love you, love you, love you, love you. It will make you, you lose your senses. You lose your control. It's short to lose your plan. Right, <laughs> sir. A time of war and a time of peace. Yes! A time of war. 
You rise up to pray. Massacre the devil. Hear me, hear me well. You may not like this message, but the Lord has given us this message to change your plans. Amen. If you don't have plan before, begin to create plan now. Amen. Let me tell you something. Devil deceives somebody. Whenever you want to set up a plan, I want to build up this. Eh? 20 million. Me? We are going to see 20 million to build up state. Devil is a liar. If you get 1 million, 2,000 euros, go and buy land. Yes. Leave it there. Hello? Aye. If you get 2,000 euros, 1 million, you go buy land. Meet uh, Mommy Williams. He <laughs> will send the money for you. <laughs> send the money for you. You go buy land. Hallelujah. Amen. When you buy it, leave it there. And now we will enter your hand. Eh? Go and buy 50 bags of cement. Buy sand. Mold it. Leave it there. Before next six months, put the block on the floor. Before two years, you don't reach the Yes. You need to plan. You need not to hold 20 million to stop the house. You need not to have five million tap in your house. No! You need to start from crash. You need to start from somewhere. And let the beginning. I will say, neglect not the little beginning. That little token in your hand, go and get a piece of land. If you get it, just forget it as if no, 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 you have nothing. Leave it there. And another one will be the enter your hand. Buy cement, buy block, buy sand. Let them mold it. As they mold, let them pack it there. I have nothing. One thousand, enter your hand. Now, 500,000. Use it to go and buy sand. Put the block on the floor. Before you put block upon block, block upon block, it's done it for. You begin to ask, eh? That means, when did I gather the money? When did this one come? Who gave me the money? You need to plan. A visionless man is a futureless man. A man without vision is a man without future. That's why the word of God said in the book of Romans chapter 8, verses 30 to 31. He who he destinated. Yes. Romans 8, 30 to 31. Romans 8. Moreover, who he did predestinated. Yes. Predestinated. Then him also called. He also he called. Predestinated. And who? When he predestinated you, he called you. It's you that is rejecting yourself. You have been called. When the Lord predestinated you, don't let down your destiny. Don't reject your destiny. Pick it up. There is something in you that devil is seeing that make him to be attacking you. Oh, yes. Hear me, hear me well. Devil never attack you today. The attack you is your inspiration is because the witches have seen your tomorrow. Yes. Yes, they have seen your future. They never fight your present day. That battle, that attack, I want to tell you, they have seen the content in you. They are not fighting their container. They are fighting the content. Never in life that custom sees a container. What they see is the content inside the container. Then he also justified. That person he justified. And the same person he. And who he justified, then he also glorified. He also glorified. Verse 31. So when God justified you and finally glorified you, nobody judges you because he that is with God is 
treatment to it. What shall we say then? Then what shall we say? If God be, if God be for us, who, can be who again on earth shall be against you? It's only when you did not plan. It's only when you did not think. It's only when you did not commit it. You say you have fed. No, it's you that fed yourself. God never fed you. That little money you are eating and drinking, you go to bar, you, you declare three cartons. Tomorrow, you declare four cartons. At the end of two months, that money will buy a piece of the land. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. The money you are wasting unnecessarily, Gather them in two, three months. You will see that something good will come out of it. Because you have failed to plan. Then you plan to fail. If you plan very well and tell yourself, I have responsibility, you will not waste any cup that enter your hand. But because you are telling yourself you don't have responsibility, that's why anything that enters you throw inside the gutter. But when you are not running away from responsibility, I'm telling you, you will not be afraid to invest. Our problem is we are running away from responsibility. Responsibility is obvious, obligatory. Every man or woman was born to face responsibility. And you can't run away from it. Unless you don't want to be blessed. The more money enter your hand, the more the thing you use it to come is coming. Unless you don't have plans on how to use it. And if you don't, if you don't use it well, let me tell you something you need to know. If God gives you money, you did not use that money well. It will take more time before another money will come. Because you will give account what you use the first one to do. <laughs> I bless you before. What do you use it for? Give account. Hey, God, I need the money. I need the money. I need the money. I bless you last three months. I bless you last four months. Money entered your hand. Where did you invest it? Then God will let you to suffer a little. If another one will come for you to learn your lesson. Yes. Leave him for the future. Leave him for the future. That's why, let me tell you, that's what the word of God said in the book of Jeremiah 29, in verses 11. He said, I know the thoughts I think towards you, the thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you your expected end. But let me tell you, many people have received the expected end and they chew it like God. They chew it like chewing God. Many people expected end. God has deposited in their hand and they have destroyed it. They have squandered it. In the book of Matthew, Jesus told us a prodigal son. He took all his shares. He went to a far country. What is a far country? A Babylonian country. What is a far, far country? A child. What is a far country? In a woman's laps. What is a far country? In a world dog. And all that God gave you became a waste. Bible said it came to the time that the man began to eat the food that came for people. Till he repented. Why am I eating with beef? So let me return to my father's house. If I need it, let me be a servant. But the father received him. To tell you that you have experienced wasted years, wasted months, but if you can repent now and rethink, there is still opportunity of turn around. There is still opportunity of turn around. Beloved brethren, 
you cannot let your life to be a waste. You need to live for future. Many people, they do business with somebody, they close the door that day. Not knowing that that business, that little business may be a test. And when you close the door that day, the greater one in tomorrow coming will not come. It being diverted. That's why you never, you never live a life of ungrateful and a life of cheating whenever you are working with anybody. Don't have a cheating mind because a cheater will be cheated. Yes! A cheater must be cheated. There is a parable that said, anything you get at the corner of a pot will go at the corner of a mouth. Yeah. If you cheat somebody to get money, you will spend that money without investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I were to advise you, keep the relationship going. Keep the door open. Keep the connection connected. Keep the movement moving. Dropping is better than stop. Dropping is better than what? Stop. Because as it's dropping daily, in a few time, the cup will fall. Yes. But when the thing stop, it has stopped. Don't eat once and never eat again. It's better you eat little and eat forever. Leave a legacy after you might have spent your years on earth. Impart things into people. Impart wisdom. Let people see you and learn from your footsteps. Let people see you and learn good things from you. Do you know that some ladies some women, many husbands has won their wives not to associate with them. Because there is no good thing coming from such group. A man will call you up the wife. Hey, come here. My wife, come sit down. You see this woman? You see this? If I see you with her, then she becomes your husband. You follow, you leave my house. You see this woman, I don't want to see you with her. Did that person has a good legacy? No. You need to change. There is something in you that is destroying somebody. Yes. Impart your generation with virtues. Live a good legacy. Live a good footstep. Look at me, I've well read in the psalm. He said, Jesus. Show me your footstep that I will plant mine there. Let somebody follow your footstep for good, not for evil. Many women, other new young married women have followed them and divorced their husband because of discouragement. Hallelujah. Amen. How can a married woman follow a woman that doesn't cook for the husband? What will you teach her? A woman that doesn't wash her husband's clothes, doesn't cook for her husband, is not supposed to associate with your wife. Oh. My Bible said, evil communication corrupts good manners. <laughs> show me your friend. I'll show you who you are. There you come. Hey, come. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 5 to 8. Second Timothy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, from, from 5 to 8. Yeah. But watch that in all things. He said, but watch that in all things. Endure affliction. Endure every affliction. So 
So do the work of an evangelist. So do the work of an evangelist. And make what? And make what? Full proof of the ministry. Proof. Say proof. 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 Of the ministry. Not only a pastor has ministry, you have ministry. Everybody has what? Ministry. You have ministry. Make good proof of your own ministry. For I am not ready to be offered. Paul said, I am ready to be offered because I fought a good fight. And the time of my departure. And the time of my departure has come. I have fought a good fight. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I finished my course on earth. I left a good legacy. My remembrance can never be forgotten. I, I imparted virtues in people. I changed many people's lives. I corrected many people's errors. I blessed people. I healed people. Many lay walk. Many barren conceive. Even though I die now, those children that will be born will remember me. Oh yeah. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is a lay up for me. Henceforth, there is a lay down what? A lay up for me, a crown. A lay up for me, a crown. Of righteousness. Of righteousness. Which the Lord. Which the Lord will give me. Not only me, but also. Which the Lord shall give me. Uh huh. A day, and not to me only. Not only me, but unto all. But unto all. That love is preparing. Appear. Appear. Amen. Not only me alone. Not only me alone. Not only me alone. People are coming to this church. When they came, they have nothing. Today, they have something. Many women came, no baby. Today, they have children. Many came with sickness today. God has healed them. Many are wondering about the station. Have no house today. They have house having families. Even though I, Reverend Choose, die, I have legacy. Yes. <laughs> the good work God has given me to do the life of people cannot be forgotten. Oh. When the woman carried the pastor, you know, he sees this child. Oh, I remember that man of God. When I came to him, I have known this child. Today I thank God. Yes. Even though the man is no longer alive, there is something he left. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. What can somebody remember you of if you are no more? Think about it. Think about it. What can they remember you for? If you are nowhere to be found tomorrow, what will they remember you for? The children you have, what are you living for them? The children you have begotten, what are you living for them? Not only having kids, but what is your future plan for those kids? Do you want after you're living on earth, you re return to glory? And those children begin to start from Sopa 1. Sopa 1. What is your plan? What have you set up for them tomorrow? Living for, future. for the future. Not only having kids, but planning for the kids. Not only begetting children, but planning for the children. Not only getting married. What is your plan concerning the marriage? Not only a man, a pregnant woman. What is your plan concerning the pregnancy? You need to have plan. You need to have plan. Draw it. Follow it. For you not to leave many in sorrow after you leave the earth. I heard some they will say, hey, how I wish my father built the house. How I wish my father trained me in the school. Is it not a regret? It's a regret. Now you are regretting. For the mistake of your father, don't let your children regret for your own mistake. Don't let your children regret for your own mistake. Don't let
let them regret. Your father might have made a mistake, and now you want to make a mistake. Will it be a pattern? No. Say error. Error. It will not be a portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. First Corinthians 15 33. I'm writing up. First Corinthians 15 33. Let me run up. Jesus. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 15 33. Uh huh. Do not be, be not deceived. Do not be deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Mm. Wait. Yeah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Listen to me. Hear my heavy word. Any friend you have that never think positively as you think, divorce him or her. Hello? Hi. Any friend you have that never think positively the way you think, cut him off. Anybody in your life, your business partner working with you, don't have vision you get. It's better you leave him Depart from him or let him you kill your own vision. I'm telling you the truth. They show the same feather. If you don't separate from them, they will kill your vision. Write your vision and pursue it. Write your vision and pursue your vision. But when you have no vision, you have nothing to pursue. And you become a shadow chester. You become what? A shadow chester. Mind the people you discuss your issues with. There are people of corrupt mind. There are people that even in their heart they are rich. But they did not, they did not belong to the rich kingdom. Of, but they have rich in their heart. And whenever you tell them what you want to do, the thing will not work. When you share your plan with them, the thing will not move forward. <laughs> when you reveal your secret to them, problem. Just to show we hide. <laughs> Hallelujah. Maybe has failed because of evil communication. Many marriages are scattered because of evil communication. Yes. Many relationships have tear apart because of evil communication. Many visions have died because of evil communication. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. After this service, you go sit down and retain. Sit down and do what? Retain. Retain. If you are still planning to get married, say that I want to marry. No planning. Get married. Do what? Get married. You plan 2010, it's cut. 2011, it's cut. 2012, if you see this one, it's very short. If you see this one, it's too tall. If you see this one, it's too fast. If you see slim one, it's too slim. 